New York Times Russia Papadopoulos bombshell completely unravels within hours of publication by Christina Layla for the GatewayPundit.com. Fake news, New York Times is doing everything they can to steer the public away from Hillary Clinton's multi-million dollar garbage dossier the deep state used in order to spy on Trump's campaign. The fake dossier ultimately sparked the Russian collusion witch hunt. If the dossier wasn't used in order to obtain a FISA warrant, then show the public the FISA apps. Absolutely. On Saturday, the New York Times implied Trump campaign volunteer George Papadopoulos set in motion the Russian collusion investigation, not the Hillary-funded dossier. Again, with the uh, phony news. Papadopoulos was already charged. He wasn't charged with Russian collusion. Papadopoulos was charged with making a full statement to the FBI because talking to Russia is not illegal, yet he's uh, what prom uh, prompted the Russia investigation. The fake news media is beyond pathetic. Washington, during a night of heavy drinking at an upscale London bar in May of 2016, George Papadopoulos, a young foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign, made a startling revelation to Australia's top diplomat in Britain. Russia had political dirt on Hillary Clinton. About three weeks earlier, Mr. Papadopoulos had been told that Moscow had thousands of emails that would embarrass Ms. Clinton, apparently stolen in an effort to try to damage her campaign. Exactly how much Mr. Papadopoulos said that night at the Kensington Wine Rooms with the Australian Alexander Downer is unclear, but two months later, when leaked Democratic emails began appearing online, Australian officials passed the information about Mr. Papadopoulos to their American counterparts, according to four current and former American and foreign pol uh, officials with direct knowledge of the Australian's role. The hacking and the revelations that a member of the Trump campaign may had, have had inside information about it were driving factors that led the FBI to open an investigation in July of 2016 into Russia, uh, Russia's attempts to disrupt the election and whether any of President Trump's associates conspired. If Mr. Papadopoulos, who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI and is now co a cooperating witness, was the improbable match that set off a blaze that was has consumed the first year of the Trump's administration, his saga is also a tale of the Trump campaign in miniature. He was brash, boastful, and underqualified, yet he exceeded expectations, and like the campaign itself, he proved to be a tantalizing target for a Russian influence operation. The information that Mr. Papadopoulos gave to the Australians answer one of the lingering mysteries of the past year. What so alarmed American officials to provoke the FBI to open a counterintelligence investigation into the Trump campaign months before the presidential election? It was not, as Mr. Trump and other polit politicians have alleged, a dossier compiled by a former British spy hired by a rival campaign. Instead, it was first-hand information from one of America's closest intelligence allies. The New York Times got destroyed within hours of publication. Conservative Treehouse completely broke down their latest Russian conspiracy. The Last Refuge, uh, Maggie, at uh, New York Times, Hate to undercut your explosive story on origin of Russia Pro, but George Papadopoulos talking in May of 2016 is likely about this open and public information from April 2016 Fox News. Source, no co uh, coincidence, Romanian hacker, Guccifer, extradite the extradition of the Rom uh, Romanian hacker Guccifer to the U.S. at a critical point in the FBI's criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton's email use. Additionally worth noting, Maggie, is uh, nowhere in the joint analysis report Comey, Brennan, and Clapper instruct is anything but George Papadopoulos even hinted or alluded to. Three, ABC in Australia is reporting it was Alexander Downer, Australian 
High Commissioner to UK, who then let counterparts in US know that George Papadopoulos was talking about the Sidney Blumenthal hack via Clinton emails. For the uh, the Maggie New York Times is also nonsense based on common sense. Papadopoulos was so important that wait, July 15th, uh, 2016, Comey opens counter intel investigation into Russian collusion. January 15, 2017, FBI visits Papadopoulos for first time. FBI waited for six months to talk to him. Um, okay. Five, if Papadopoulos was so important uh, to the FBI investigation, why did all the intelligence agencies release their final JAR report without even speaking to him, not even once? Number six, what you have in your article is a well-constructed and brutally familiar pattern of what journalism looks like when the IC use reporters to cover their tracks and create a justification based on false premise. Seven, the Fusion GPS, Glenn, Glenn Simpson, Mary Jacoby, Nellie Orr, etc., and subsequent Christopher Steele origin of the FISA application source material is a risk to the former leadership within the DOJ National Security Division and FBI Counterintelligence Division. Eight, that's why both FBI and DOJ sides of this intelligence operation need to create a false origin. The actual FISA application content is a much more explosive risk. Use your common sense logic hat and see when you are being played. Nine, use common sense if Papadopoulos conversation in May of 2016 was the origin, the source material of the FBI counterintelligence operation, then why were they denied a FISA application in June and July 2016? 10. The wife of Glenn Simpson, Fusion GPS, Mary B. Jacoby, uh, with years of Russia angled reporting, including Donald Trump visits the White House on April 19, 2016. 11. Mar Mary B. Jacoby is a deep part of Clinton's political camp going all the way back to the Rose Law Firm. You know that because you know her. After the April 19, 2016 White House visit, the DNC and Clinton campaign hire Mary and Glenn Fusion GPS for the Trump project. 12. Imme immediately uh, after Fusion was paid, Glenn Simpson and Mary Jacoby Fusion GPS patriarchs hire Nellie Orr. <laughs> he knocked him out, boy. 13. As you know, Nellie Orr is the wife of DOJ Deputy Bruce Orr, the same Bruce Orr who was demoted for meeting with Glenn Simpson and Christopher Steele along with FBI agent Peter Strzok without telling DOJ leadership. <laughs> 14. Again, you know this stuff. Nellie Orr, Bruce Orr, and Glenn Simpson have known each other for years and have worked on CIA open source quote projects together for a long time. And he points them out here. 15. As you know, all of these people are SMEs on everything Russia and everything Russia intelligence. It is all of this activity in April and May, not innocuous. George Papadopoulos reading newspapers that assembled data and eventually led to the Russian probe. 16. On June 24, 2017, Mary Jacoby even publicly stated on her Facebook that her work with Glenn is what specifically led to the FBI beginning the Russia probe. Did President Obama read the Steele dossier in the White House? To date, the investigation into the Fusion GPS manufactured collusion scandal has focused largely on the firm itself, its allies. 17. After the initial July 2016 FISA court denial, the FBI and DOJ team uh, leaned heavily on the external team of Jacoby Simpson or Steele, etc., who created the dossier 
that enhanced the application that gained the FISA warrant in October. 18. As you know, because of the legal fr uh, framework around them, FISA warrants can be applied retroactively. Wiretapping and monitoring can technically begin while evidence is gathering to te uh, justify a DOJ NSD warrant application later. 19. Which is exactly what former DOJ Attorney General John B. Carlin, National Security Division head, admitted to the FISA court October 2016, right before he quit his job. Top secret FISA court president, a newly released court order from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court FISA, found that the National Security Agency under, I guess, former... So he, he uh, quit. <laughs> so, number 20. Maggie at the New York Times, the question I have for you is, did you write that nonsense about George Papadopoulos because the IC, FBI, slash DOJ tricked you into it? Or were you a willing participant in helping transmit political disinformation in an effort to help them cover their tracks. Wow, he got Matthew McConaughey started asking the right blanking questions. 21, Happy New Year, Maggie. <laughs> New York Times. <laughs> Representative Ron DeSantis has asked for uh, Obama uh, Comey FISA apps to be declassified as soon as we know what prompted the FISA warrants. Uh, warrant. We will begin to understand the origin of the Russian collusion witch hunt. The reason why the deep state is fight, fighting the dossier so much is because we all know it is the fruit of the poison tr uh, tree, as Tom Fitton says. Representative DeSantis said in a statement, we all know that the so-called steel dossier was paid for by the Democratic Party in an effort to gin up negative information regarding then-candidate Trump. What the American people deserve to know is whether the information compiled by Steele on the Democrats' dime was used by the Obama administration to obtain approval to conduct a surveillance against Trump associates. The FBI has stonewalled producing these documents for months, and their production shouldn't be limited to closed-door viewing by a small number of members of Congress. The Trump administration should immediately declassify all the documents used to obtain surveillance warrants against Trump or his associates. Nice try, New York Times. Certainly that report took some of your precious time to produce. However, we will never stop demanding an investigation into the dossier. The brilliant Byron York of the Washington Examiner asked some pertinent questions that further poked holes in the desperate New York Times article about Papadopoulos. New York Times reports George Papadopoulos was a driving factor that led FBI to start the Russia Trump-Russia probe in July of 2016. Dossier played no role. Bull, right? So one, if Papadopoulos' actions drove FBI probe, why wait till nearly February of 2017 to interview him? If done uh, to keep probe quiet before election, why wait more than two months after vote? Um, when did officials brief Congress about Papadopoulos? They briefed Congress about Carter Page in late summer of 2016. Three, did officials seek a surveillance warrant on Papadopoulos? They reportedly got one on Carter Page in the summer of 2016. Did they try to get one on Papadopoulos? If not, why not? One ad not saying... Papadopoulos played no role, but questions about whether his part was so central in starting FBI probe in July of 2016. Oh, blank. So funny, I almost, uh, in my pants, at Maggie at the New York Times, uh, just got nuked again on their Papadopoulos scoop, a hilarious attempt to defect attention from the Fusion GPS dossier. Full time here. Yeah. Yeah, direct, uh, Director Blue. 
Eight to undercut your explosive story on origin of Russia probe, but George Papadopoulos talking in May of 2016 is likely about this. Open and public information from April of 2016, foxnews.com politics. So there you have it. Note Maggie Haberman did not author this New York Times article. She is the New York Times DC Bureau. This fake news Papadopoulos article was compiled by Sharon Lafreniere, Mark Mazzetti, and Matt Apuzzo. Uh-huh. Isn't that interesting? I think they write for the uh, Independent, too. Well, in other words, they were trying to cover their, their tracks, and they called them out on it, and it's not working. Uh, they, are, they are done. And that's basically the bottom line. Obama allowed, uh, went and gave them the authority to go ask for the FISA warrants and all these people that are, and look at Clinton, I know nothing. <laughs> Excellent. And these are the people from the fusion, uh, G Glenn Simpson and Mary. Uh-huh. Too much info has come out already. They can't hide this. You know, they can't like... They don't know how to get out of it now. Do you see what I'm saying? That's basically the bottom line, and they're trying to throw it uh, as to something else to get people off track, but it isn't working because people are hip to their shenanigans. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.